Today I'm going to show you how to make six smooth music video transitions in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to skip all these steps and save yourself some time, head to the link in the description to download these as drag and drop presets. Let's jump in. Whip pan transition. In effect, search for push and drag it between the clips where you want to make the transition. Adjust the transition to your desired length. I prefer three frames on each side. Go up to the inspector and adjust the direction. Increase the motion blur all the way. You can also adjust the ease if you want the effect to speed up or slow down. Spin transition. Create an adjustment layer 12 frames long above your cut point. You want two of the frames to the left of the cut point and 10 of the frames to the right of the cut point. Go to Fusion, select Media in 1, and press Shift Spacebar. Search for Transform and press Enter. Hover the playhead to the start of your clip. Go up to the Inspector. Keyframe the rotation. Make it 360. Now hover the playhead to the end of the clip and make the rotation 0. Go down to Animation and increase the motion blur all the way. Go down to Advanced Options and change the edge behavior to Reflect. Go up to Spline. Toggle Transform On, press the Zoom to Fit button. Now highlight all of your points and press S on your keyboard. And then just pull the lines in like this, and there you go. Speed Blur Transition. Option click on your clip and drag it above itself to duplicate it. Right click on the top clip, change clip speed, and change it to negative 1000. Select Ripple Timeline. Now take this clip and drag it above the end of your bottom clip. Finally go to Effects, search for Motion Trails and apply it to the top clip and then go up to the inspector and adjust the parameters to best fit your specific clip. Masking person transition. Option click on your second clip and drag it above itself to duplicate it. Select your top clip, go to fusion, select media in one and press shift spacebar. Search for magic mask and press enter. Hover the playhead at the start of the clip and roughly draw around your subject. In the inspector change the mode to better and the refine range to around 40. Now press this button to track forward when it's finished, go back to the timeline view. Now drag your previous clip 5 to 10 frames into the bottom second clip. Hover the playhead at the cut point. Select the top clip. Go up to the inspector. Press keyframe on position. Now go to the beginning of the top clip and change the Y position value until your subject is out of frame. Swirl cut. Create an adjustment clip above your cut point that's 5 frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media in 1 and press Shift Spacebar. Search for Directional Blur and press Enter. Hover the playhead to the cut point, select Directional Blur, go up to the Inspector, change the type to Zoom, keyframe the length and angle, change the length to 0.1, change the angle to 20. Hover the playhead to the start of the clip and change the length and angle to 0. Hover the playhead to the end of the clip and do the same thing. Go up to Spline, toggle these on, press the Zoom to Fit button, now highlight all of your points, press S on your keyboard, and there you go. Vortex Transition. Create an adjustment clip above your cut point that's 5 frames long on each side. Select it, go to the Fusion tab, select Media in 1 and press Shift Spacebar. Search for Directional Blur and press Enter. Hover the playhead to the cut point, go up to the Inspector, change the type to Radial, create a keyframe on Length and change it to negative 0.1. Hover the playhead at the start of the clip and change the length to zero. Hover the playhead at the end of the clip and do the same thing. Go up to Spline, toggle Directional Blur on, press the Zoom to Fit button. Now highlight all of your points and press S on your keyboard. And there you go. 